Welcome back to Control the Chaos Mama podcast. Today we are talking all about money. Yeah, we are actually more of an impact-driven podcast, if I do say so myself, but the fact of the matter is, is that you can make so much impact with money. And so I feel like it's time for us to finally get those money blocks out of the way and make a space for that money to go. So I've actually just recently implemented a new system. It's based off the book, Profit First by Mike Michalowicz. I hope I said his name right. (laughs) And the goal of this book or this formula really is to develop a system for building your business in a more sustainable way. It tries to work with your habits versus against them so that you will actually stick with it. It's time to really earn, save, and spend wisely. And I think that this, the really, the main principles of this whole system really can help me do that and hopefully you. So what you do in this system is you first account for your profit, and your taxes, and then you're gonna have owners pay, and then what's left over is what the company has to spend, and that is really a reverse thinking. So typically, it's kind of like you just keep investing everything back into the business, you see what's left, and then you might be able to get paid. And this idea is that you are adjusting and and really, I feel like, working off of small plates. And that brings me to the first principle. And so that first principle is small plates. You are going to reduce the amount that you spend and you are going to be having smaller accounts that hold certain specific things. It's kind of taking the profit first, splitting the balance into small accounts, and there will be less of a big lump sum. Have you ever had your account get to a certain amount? And and I, I don't know if this is an upper limit problem or something, but when it gets to a certain amount, then you start spending. I know I've even experienced this in weight. Like, so you get to a certain weight or you are working out and eating right. And then all of a sudden people start complimenting you and then you totally sabotage. Anyway, I feel like that that is something to do with the money too. Um, The second principle is you're going to change the sequence that you do things. So in going along with the whole idea of the food again, let's think of it as like eating, a different variety of food first. So like eating the more dense food versus the junk. So it's kind of like prioritizing where what what you use. Um, so you'll always take your profits first and then your bills will go last, which is totally opposite of how we typically approach business and money. Um, and then you are going to be able to remove the temptation of using all of your money by offloading two different accounts and then also making it just harder for you to access your money um, whenever you've allocated to a separate account Um, and also building a rhythm. And so this is going to give you some habits. I know that as ADHD entrepreneurs and creative rebels, we can kind of go against the grain when it comes to habits, but they do serve us really well. If we can make it easy and, and automatic for us to start doing things, if we can set up systems, it will up our confidence and it will also keep these little promises to ourselves that will get us to really feel like an expert in authority and to stop telling ourselves lies like we're bad at money or I spend everything I have or um, I, you know, whatever the, the thing is that is your limiting belief when it comes to money, this is a great opportunity for you to take control, for you to decide that everything is figure outable. And if you don't know X, Y, Z about money or back office part of your business, that you can get in the know or be empowered to find someone else to help you. But this system seems to make it super easy. He has this cheat sheet that you can go and download if you want to go check out his site. Um, I definitely am all about diving into this more if you guys are interested in this in our money series but basically you would set up three bank accounts with your current bank chances are you already probably have um, a few accounts so what you could do is make the the one you do have the expenses account since you already have stuff coming out of it you also would have a owner's pay you would have an income and then you would also have two other ones which would be taxes 
And then um, what's the other one I forgot? Profit. <laughs> and so you would have these at a separate one. So it'll be harder for you to get that money. And then you're also going to probably figure out exactly when the system happens to where you are going to like what amount you want to put in each one. He gives some suggestions. And even if it's just 1% to start with paying yourself first with the profit, um, he says to start there so you don't have to go backwards. And then um, you end up paying yourself in these certain amounts into these little plates. And it might be, honestly, it was kind of like, I thought the bank might be like, uh, why do you want all these accounts? But then on certain days of the week, he suggests, I believe it was the 10th and the 25th, that you go in and you move the money to the certain accounts based on the percentage. And I know this sounds really confusing, but it's really not. So if you think about it as all of your income comes into the income account, but then on the 10th and 25th, you move over a certain percentage that you need to move over to these other accounts, it makes it to where um, you can kind of have that control. And honestly, if you're like me, and you like Amazon, it can help you to really rein in those like extra expenses or to really be mindful. It, it really does increase your self-awareness as to what you are spending and how much your bills really even are. And so you would do that every um, 10th and 25th of the month. This has actually worked really well for me because um, you typically remit your sales tax each month um, in Ohio at least, uh, for any services. I also do a boudoir photography business. So if people order products, then I will um, go and remit that sales tax. And I ta sales tax, and so I'll do that during one of those times too. And so that really helps too. And what happens is you can almost make yourself like a intentional workflow. Obviously put it in your phones with an alarm. And then every quarter you get that profits account you get that money and it's kind of like you get to have a bonus. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, and then every year you can, of course, like review what happened and, and all the things. But it is this idea of small plates and working off of these smaller plates and just making it more um, really natural to change the way you're thinking when it comes to your money. And I think it's giving yourself more control. Um, it's more intention as to where it's going. And and it's, I know that some people are kind of like, I wanna start a business, but I don't know what to do with taxes, or I don't know what to do, I'm not good with money, or I don't know, whatever it could be for you. But this system, I think has really helped me to kind of, I think, take the power back when it comes to money. And so I hope this is helpful for you. The book's called, again, Profit First, and it is this idea of small plates, of changing the sequence that we divvy out the, the money, and really removing the temptation that could be totally there, makes it super easy if it's connected, everything's connected to PayPal, right, and Amazon, and just building a rhythm so that it's natural that we, you know, go and do it in a certain order, in a certain way, which if we can make that be um, super intuitive that way, then it can make it so much easier. I hope this episode was helpful for you. I hope that it helps you to gain some confidence when it comes to really um, getting some control around your finances and instead of avoiding it maybe, <laughs> and, and building that awareness. If you'd like to know more about this system, definitely check out the book. And if you found this episode helpful or you're going to do it too, definitely let me know. I would love to know what you're taking from the show if you are finding these tips helpful. And then also find me over on social media. My handle my is angel.mcelhaney. You can of course come find me over on the podcast Instagram at control the chaos mama podcast. And until next time, wishing you joy and abundance, angel. <laughs>